so Sim, after comfortably winning that first one, gets the Raven in the first first five cards in the opening draw, which is obviously amazingly strong. Has the Tucking Bird. Uh, um, we'll see how this um, bonus card, the the Bird Counter, um, and we've got some really nice birds in the tray as well. M uh, the Morning Dove, is, um, especially, is really really nice. Just trying to work out. They've got while well, they've got the Raven, they don't really have a lot of great other cards in their in the first five. So it's definitely not just a phenomenal start. It's just it's just nice. So we'll just sort of see how this goes. Yeah. We ran the numbers a while ago about seeing a Raven in the first uh, cards. It was like 10% that it might start a game. There you go. So it's not as... Uh, is that just a Raven or is that any of the four OP birds? Any of the four. Yeah, like yeah. Up, uh, any of... what? I think it was the first 10 cards of the game. Yep. Makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, we, we, we all love doing it and we all hate versing it, right? Um... All right, this is not a nice starting hand for for DJ here. What what do you think of this, Lakes? Looks like uh, his bonus cards have followed him. <laughs> yeah, sure does. It sure does. I don't like any of that stuff to start with. Not at all. Not at all. Um. Especially you're going like second, you know that you're not going to get that morning dove. Yeah, that makes it even worse. I, to be honest, I, I, I probably would get like absolutely raged on, but I probably would have only picked up the chat there as much as I hate the chat. Um, I would have just picked up one bird, and and chucked it in my far um in my wetlands to then see what I can draw. You know, put some eggs on it, see what I can just blind draw and, and see how I go from there. Yeah, but even the chat, don't you need to grab a food first? Yeah, oh, you're, you're good point. Good point. Oh, here we go. That's good for them. Look at how many slugs there are in the um in the tray. No, what? What? Surely you pick up the flicker. There's four. There's four slugs in the tray. You don't even have the food for the quail. What is going on, DJ? I mean, the quail's a good grab, but yeah, that flicker's hard to turn down when it's four four wormies. Yeah, yeah, and and they could have just played it. And got a whole heap of food. Um, really, really interesting. Sort of. I, I just don't understand the quail play when you can't play it instantly. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, I actually don't mind the morning dove down in the the, the grasslands here for. I'm um, sorry, the wetlands here for um sim, seeing as they're not going to need to really build up that forest lands too much at all. Um, I also think that the, um, the flicker is so nice for them because it basically gets them that food for the, um, the raven without them even having to worry about it. Yeah, I think I would avoid throwing that morning dove in the forest. I, I think the wetlands is the place for it this game. Yeah, yeah. It's just a bit of a waste, right? Like, it's a zero point bird. For, for nothing, so. I don't mind the flicker going up there, you know, just ditch that up there, but up in the forest. We will see. I'm, I'm glad. In the middle, though, because it wouldn't be that bad to get at least a couple eggs for end around goal one. That's a good point. That's a good point. Although, it, it, it when you're building up your grassland engine, you don't really want to waste a spot with it with something that's going to do nothing like that yeah, so is the uh, four points for the end of round worth more than uh, a dead spot for the rest of the game uh i mean at the moment no i mean like the the four points is worth more but we know that the the possibilities of what you can pull in that grassland with a with a raven could could easily be worth more i just i'm quite confused by what dj's doing but we will see. They've obviously got a plan in their head. So 
sometimes that's the most difficult thing is you kind of they've got a plan and we just don't know what that is we do not know what that is at all all righty so the flick has gone down they're gonna now get this california quail that uh, stilt actually might play pretty well to grab a couple extra cards. He's got the worms for it. Yeah, no, very true. Very true. And does do they even consider then putting the morning dove in the grassland to make up for the egg that the raven's going to take? That Canada goose could also work really nicely with the um, both the bonus card and the raven. I probably wouldn't be picking feel, up the quail, though. feel a little bit handicapped, though, if you get a goose early and you don't have, a, like, a, a separate way to produce that meat. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. I'm not, not a huge fan of picking up that quail, though. I think it's just a very expensive bird to, to get down. But we'll see how that develops. I definitely would still much prefer to be in sim shoes right now than I would be in, in DJs. This is this is starting to turn around for DJ though. Like the quail and the wood duck could become quite a potent combo. What do you what do you think? I mean you can never really count somebody out with a wood duck. The only problem for them is they're both three food cost birds, so it's it's gonna take them a while to get this engine going. Maybe they can put the quail down, get some eggs, discard some of those extra cards there that they don't actually want, you know, and then see what happens from there. Be interesting to see with these. He's, he's definitely running through all the different possibilities in his head about what he can do, that's for sure. Well, that was the one spot where he didn't think the morning dove would go. Yeah, I, I thought that... Like, I, I did say, like, a little while ago that they might put it there for the end-of-round goal and to make up for the raven discarding of an egg. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely... I thought it would have got down a lot earlier in the waterlands. I, that's probably where I would have gone, though. All right, California quail... ...is... ...down. Now, back to Sim. Sim does not have the food, just needs to scrub that rat. Discard that bonus, that like extender bird, maybe just to get an extra one. Doesn't need to, but you would, I would definitely consider it. Just to make it a little bit easier. It is probably... messed at the moment though. Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. Yep, grabs two, gets the wood duck. Oh well, the wood duck's gonna get down pretty quickly. This is this is actually turning around a little bit for DJ now. They're gonna get the the holy trinity of food, cards, and eggs all at the, in the same habitat. So whenever you get that down, happy days. Happy days. Question is, is he too far behind with only two birds down? It it is a very, very good question. And and one bonus um end of round goal down as well. Now if we knew that if we didn't know that Sim had the Raven, then they might still be in with a chance, but knowing that Sim has that raven, it is just going to does still sort of lean towards them. Oi, now what do you do? <laughs> You've just set up this grasslands and you, you pull a raven. 
Well, you just discard that one grain for the tucking bird for the out of this setup. No, I don't want that great egret here when you've got such a good ability to get food. Yeah, that's a hard one to throw away so early when you got uh, the only thing that you actually have is a forest. Exactly. Uh, I mean, and you, and you think about this, that can't think of what it is, but that one grain bowl tuck bird isn't going to get used at all. So, like, why are you keeping it around? Maybe he is looking to pivot to the uh, grasslands and go with the raven and uh, blackbird. Yeah, just seems interesting because, like, the wood duck doesn't give you that many cards. You know, you get to look at two, but you only get to keep one. So you're not going to get a whole heap of generation through that. Um, but we'll see how this goes. We'll see how it develops. Woodstalk. Yeah, nice. That nice little one slug um, bird there is going to be really nice with them to generate some good good level of cards here. Yeah, great for cards. Great for probably sneaking at least a tie or even winning the end of round goal. Yeah, completely agree. Uh, and, that was just when you needed to be able to probably maintain a good card draw for the rest of the game. Yeah. Still a little bit surprised at the, the cards that DJ's been keeping here. Even that last one. I mean, they're obviously keeping the tip mouse to try and you know, get more food generation, sets them up for the end of round and the viticulturalist as well, but I think it's a little bit short sighted. It's a little bit short sighted. I think you're right with DJ's thoughts that they were just gonna to pivot to using that blackbird. Yeah, it does seem like it's going to be tricky to supply it enough cards with just a wood duck. Yeah, I really thought that the the bunting, I think it's the bunting that they've got there, would have been a better one just to make sure that you get this end of round goal like something on there. Here goes the Canada Goose down next, I'm assuming. All right, Mother Love. Uh, better late than never, but Mother Love is here to to take their their place as the the co commentator. Go for it. Welcome, Mother Love. Yeah, you know, or you can just stay muted. That's also fine. You know. Hello. Hey, how Hello. you doing? If if, if Float wants to carry on uh, commentating, he can feel free to do so. You know. Uh, that's all good. I'm actually eating a salad here, so... Okay. I'm being healthy, Lakes. Which game is this? This is game two. Okay. Uh, Sim won game one by a good 10 or 11 points, quite comfortably, with a very nice Killdeer engine. And then um, they've pulled the Raven for game two, and they're starting five. And, um, but... DJ, whilst we think they're making some odd decisions, does have a nice forest engine with the Californian quail to, to create eggs and then the wood duck to get cards up in the forest. So we'll just see how this sort of goes for them. Oh yeah, we very much have a powerful engine against a powerful engine here. Yeah, but it just it took um, DJ a long time to get it set up because they didn't have those cards in the starting hand they kind of had to pick them up and then they're three food cards so it just mm -hmm. took a while to get going we're, we're, we've only got two turns left in the second round they have a lot of birds in their hand already mm. that that uh, partially is due to the, just playing the Brant you know it's a yeah, B, yeah. B plus tier Brant so <laughs> <laughs> how you doing this morning mother love you feeling alright yeah, all right. Uh, just waking up? I just did. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, about 6.30 in the morning there for you? Uh, yeah, 6.30. The joys of Europe, eh? 
it's 1 30 p.m over here in, in in western australia certainly easier to wake up at 1 30 p.m i would say <laughs> well I've, I've i've generally been up for a little bit longer i've already gone out i had lunch you know came back for the stream yeah yeah for sure anyway so yeah, sorry if we're not for not waking up in time but no, no, that's fine. We, the, the first game finished a bit quicker than we expected, so that's all good. All good. Heartseed was, was on for a bit, and then I had to sort of kick him off, so he went and had to sleep before his game with uh, Devim later the, um, in the morning for him and the night for me. Cool. Yeah. Um, can't believe people are still playing Habitat for you. <laughs> I've, I, after the, the amount of um, trash that I got in my first stream when I was playing in Habitat View, I've, I'm slowly moving myself over to, to board view, so um, I'm pretty much there now. Yeah, I think someone mentioned it's, it, it kind of depends if people started playing on the board game or on the app. Um, because if you started playing on the board game, you're going to play in uh, board view, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I started on the board game, um, but I never realized that there was that event like you could even look at it like that. So I kind of just played in Habitat for you and it was just, it was habit for me for so long. Mm -hmm. And I just had to change the habit. I mean, for me, it, it is pretty clear that the board view is a better way to look at the game and stuff like that. It's not as pretty, you don't get to look at the birds as much and stuff, but, um, but actually playing the game and being, not making mistakes and stuff like that is, it is far better. It looks like Sim has completely given up on this end of round goal. Oh, oh no, they can, they can... the... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, but I don't remember this bird's name, the one point bird that goes in the water. Yeah, the yeah. Caroline Mask, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. I think they can get that down and then still lay eggs in it and, and not just completely give in on it at this point. Um, and they'll probably tie, right? Because I'm pretty sure that. Um, DJ only has yeah, one DJ egg has one. as well. So it, 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 it seems worth it. It's also nice to generate, be able to generate cards when you want, when you've got a Raven set up mm -hmm. there as well. So it seems like a smart play to do. Yeah, definitely. Plus if you can... Actually, yeah, because he has to put an egg on it. So he's going to have to miss on the, the two A birds. There's the Viveo and Cassin's Finch combination here, which is really nice for either of them. But nicer for, for Sim because obviously for DJ it's going to mess up its wood engine a little bit. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Um, but it will be will be interesting. Just just to catch you up as well, Sim has the bird counter bonus card. Um, and uh, DJ has the viticulturalist. Mm -hmm. Oh, bird counter. The, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the super birds. hard one. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. I'm... I was thinking of bird feeder, but not bird counter. No, no. One. Bird counter, the, the ones that has the tuck. And they've got the Canada Goose in there as well. So that that's with the Raven could be quite a nice setup with that bonus card as well. Yeah. yeah. Um... What I was just thinking, they, they need to get some grassland birds down sooner rather than later. I think a lot of the time in... in uh, it's much better to get like... Birds that are maybe not so good down earlier when you have a quest engine like that, then trying to get the really good birds. Yeah, agreed. It's just it's such a the... difference between getting four eggs and three eggs per turn, right? Yeah, yeah, but hey, if he gets the. Uh, what's his name? The Virginia thingy down, he gets six eggs. Mm. I know where he does that many more points he makes every turn. Yeah, it'll be. It'll be interesting i think they're going to go with this bluebird and the canada goose is my thoughts um mm -hmm. yeah that's it, a good play as well i think it's the eastern bluebird eastern or mountain i think are the two different ones eastern mountain bluebird. Mount, mountain has the the funnier sprite yeah Dwelling, you know flapping swings yeah and they're, they're pointing in different directions for the for the future uh end of round goals in the in the upcoming expansions Oh, <laughs> yeah. I love that one where you got to pick, work out which birds are better based on which way they're looking. <laughs> so, it'll definitely be... It's definitely going to be an interesting sort of setup. It's hard to see 
what DJ has going on in the grasslands. DJ did just take a little while to get their grassland set up going in the in the last game. This Lexis like, because once before he like at the end of the game. Yeah, he, he pretty much all has what he's supposed to play. I don't even know that he needs to take cards again, right? If you, you play the Canada Goose here, um, you can well, pretty much yeah. get the, be getting a, um, a wheat for that Canada Goose and then look at with the other food, getting the food for the per um, the Atlantic Puffin and the Woodstalk, I think it is, as the other bonus card. Mm -hmm. And, and everything's actually. kind of, everything's sorted out, right? Yeah. Getting food does get a little bit slower once you have the Canada Goose done. I wonder if he's... Yeah, Ooh. okay. See, Makes I wouldn't sense. have done that. I, 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 I would have preferred the Canada Goose because, one, it's a five-point bird with the bonus card. It works better with their bonus card. Two, you're going to get far more points through that Canada Goose than you are out of the quail um and you could when you only had those two birds that you really needed to get down you didn't really need to do anything else so you don't have to worry about the fact that you're slowing down that food production yeah yeah i agree on this one it's just uh, like six food um if we've just one turn of food could be worth but he does have the egg space with the bluebird down now yeah um also, like you're going to generate a lot, and and if you needed to on like the last one, let's say you've you've got the woodstock down, but you need, uh, you've got two turns left, and you need two food. Just miss, skip the last one of the Canada Goose, get the two fish you need, and mm -hmm. get it down. Um, I just think that that would have generated a lot more points because you've got, um, he's got ten turns left. You should be getting pretty close to sixteen cards tucked under that Canada Goose. That's that's a lot. That is a lot. I so, do wonder if he's still going to play it later on in the game, or if he's just given up on it. He just hovered over it, so I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I just think that it's a, you kind of, you had the sweet spot of getting it down now with how many turns you had left over. And and then it is yeah. going to become hard out to then get the goose down and those other two down. I just I just think that this, this quail didn't really work for anything. It doesn't work for the end of round goals, like it just, it doesn't work for the bonus cards. I don't, I didn't, didn't see the benefit of it. Like, why do you now, like, you've got the quail and the morning dove, so you're going to generate six eggs per turn. They're going to very quickly run out of eggs spot by doing this. I mean, I don't think the quail is necessarily a, a bad decision, just maybe not as good as the Canada goose. But he's making more eggs, but he's making more food. The, the only difference is um, maybe now he will have to play. Like take another, take birds another time just to um, yeah, agreed. Get rid of those eggs. The problem is he's not really gonna know which which birds to take until he gets those two bonus cards down to work out what's actually gonna be really optimum for him. Mhm. Mm yeah, but he has his time. I'm not sure who started the game. Uh, does he start did. round four or does he? Okay, so he started round three, so he doesn't start yep. round four. Correct. He is still going to try and get that Canada Goose down. One one of the reasons as well that I liked the Canada Goose going down last time is they actually had the three grain. So as soon as they played the Canada yeah, Goose, yeah. they were already able to instantly tuck that grain. Um, and that can be a little bit annoying when you get the, that, the, uh, the Goose or the um, Sandhill Crane down is not having that extra grain there to be able to tuck straight away and missing out on that first one. Uh, or oh, look at that, zero or zero. What do you want to take? That's that's pretty rough there for um I mean breeding manager is gonna be at least two points. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, a bit of a worth to uh... Yeah. No, but I agree, in, in a way because he could get the initial points already on the Canada Goose, it was almost more like a, a seven point bird instead of a five point bird. Yep, agreed. Agreed. But hey, we've all been there. You have a plan in your head and you already had it for a while and you don't really stop to think, you know what, actually, which one is the better play here? You know, we can all get sort of single-minded mm -hmm. at times. DJ managed to fill his forest a little bit, so now he's going to finally be able to get the food to actually play some of his birds. 
Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not entirely sure if he's looking to pivot to something else yet. Um, because his grassland is kind of hard to maintain with the uh, black bird. Like Agreed. you only make one card with the wood duck. Yeah, and I said that before. They they actually um, got... Was it this one? That they No, no, it was a different game. I was getting confused. I think they got something and then they, they got rid of it, but they didn't. Yeah, it's going to be... Going to be very interesting to see what they do here. Very interesting. Looks like he is gonna get the end of round gold though with the tufted titmouse and the great blue heron. I think this is a really good draw for him, the, the great blue heron. Yeah, it is, it is. Also, I just want to point out Whenever I have a, a wood duck engine, I really like birds like the Brant or the Oyster Catcher. Just because it gives you a little bit of like buffer building. when you're cycling cards. Yeah. In case Agreed. you pick up two good cards. Yeah, no, I completely agree with that. However, in, in, in saying that, I, I also, when you have that sort of engine, really like like a chickadee or a nut hatch and stuff where you're just automatically gaining that one point every time you go up there. Definitely, yeah, definitely. But it's also a case of, you know, if you don't get the optimal birds early on, it's it's maybe better to get a not so good bird down faster. Mm, yeah, agreed. Agreed. I mean, you know, Brandt is uh, B plus tier, so you've got to respect it. Yeah, man. you got to respect it. Can't. What bonus card to do it? Oh, Viticulturist, okay. Yeah. I just... I know I keep sort of harping on about it. Like, they've got the Canada Goose... sim has got the Canada Goose down now, but there's now only seven turns left in the game. When we are talking about it, they had ten turns left in the game. They haven't tucked in it yet. So they can only... If they tucked every single time, which they're not going to, they're only going to get 14 turns. They still plan to play those other two birds. So... They're probably only going to get 10 tucks behind it now compared to that 16. It just seems like a a bit of an ordering ordering mm -hmm. issue there. Um, just like you were saying, it's not necessarily bad, just suboptimal the way that they did it. Maybe they, they calculated to have the correct amount of food exactly, but... Mm. I'm not sure how many turns left, six turns. Makes one food a turn, he has one food. Yeah, but he needs to have two turns to be able to so, yeah, play the cards. Turns. So he's gonna so he's gonna have exactly the amount of food he needs plus one if he like skips the Canada goose on the last one he takes food. Yeah. We will we will see, eh? Hey? We'll see how it goes. He's gonna run out of spaces very fast. Yes, he is. He is. So he'll probably use it to, to play that wood stalk just to create some egg space um, pretty mm -hmm. quickly. Only a couple egg spaces though. That's that's the problem when you play those mm. really good uh, wood. You are, dis you are discarding an egg though, which is which is useful. It is useful, yeah. But that's one of the reasons why I really like. Um, the double birds whenever you have a grassland engine. Yeah. Which is just a bit of a shame. They had to skip on the VWO and Cassas Finch just because they couldn't take it and get an egg on the cup nest at the same time. So But those are really the interesting before you jumped on, they actually um Sim actually discarded the great um egret. Um even okay. though they had the, the Raven in their hand already which m both myself and lakes mentioned at the time we were surprised that because they are so nice when you've got the raven it's so easy to get the food mm -hmm. to be able to play that bird um plus the egret is free egg spaces which is like more than you usually get from those birds <laughs> yeah agreed agreed and it's seven points it's huge right? seven points here yeah. When when you like, if you were to put that with a puffin it's a 15 point play minus eggs but uh, minus the eggs plus the bonus card 
So, ooh, see, this is interesting. Yeah. I probably would have done <laughs> yeah. it once more time, one more turn, so that you're not wasting that grain that you would then tuck through the Canada goose. Is that what you're thinking as well? Yeah, we both had the same reaction. <laughs> Wasting the grain to play the Woodstock, I'm not sure about that. When, you, when they don't need to this turn, if they can just do another turn of getting food first. Maybe I think they're worried about the end of round, but I don't think they can get it anyway. You just have to let it go. Yeah, you just gotta concede and just be happy that your trust your engine is gonna create you enough points, right? Mm hmm. I mean, DJ is doing pretty good for the last end of round as well yeah it'd be it'd be interesting i mean they don't know that the <laughs> that the the heron and the um the rail is about to come and it doesn't matter <laughs> what they do right now it's not going to make a difference they're trying I mean, the to heron, tie the heron was in the tray so he could yeah no but you know if you remembered correctly he, but... he doesn't even need to put the heron down to win this because this is only going to tie it for for sim and yeah. but Sim should surely look over it at DJs and go, "Oh, they've got, they've got eight food ready to go." Yeah, yeah. Especially because, you know, a woodduck engine. That's just what they do. They just play birds. So, yeah, I think it's just, it's pretty obvious that they're gonna play something here. Yeah. So um, forester, or that looks like an egg bone skirt. Oh, uh, I didn't think that was an egg. I thought that was the um. You know the bird, the cards in your hand at the end of the, the end. Is you know really see, the, he only has yeah, two. See, see yeah, that's okay, why he's got the two. That's why it's said that he already had two, and he has two in his hand. Um, okay, well I'm not sure he took why he took it then. Because the forester wasn't going to help them, him either. He had zero um, forest birds. Neither them. That would ne mm. neither of them are good. I think and... he just played the bullet head, take the zero points, because that visionary leader is definitely not worth going for. And for yeah, I mean, to... either of them were going to be zero points, so I don't think it really mattered which one they yeah. chose. The only way you do... Oh, I was going to say, the only way you do Forrester if he's a second double bird shows up. And, and it does. Um... But nothing else is with it. No, it's not. So do you gamble? I think you just play the puffin. Yeah, you just play the puff and ditch that down to being no points and move on. Okay, so here's something I was thinking about. Um, the scissor tail flycatcher on DJ's side. I was wondering if he was going to play that at any point. Mm. Um, which that's actually really useful for, for Sim. So it's interesting. Does... Do we, do we think that DJ now, like, what do they do with four turns left? They've got all their birds down. Their engine isn't great, right? But is it better for them just to be laying um, four eggs per turn? Then going mm. down, getting food, um, then using the raven and stuff like that. So there's nothing great in the train, like no real big birds, right? Yeah, it's nothing really, but... You know, if they want to do the... Okay, they're taking food again. Um, I think taking cards, getting like three cards, and then taking X three times with the Blackbird is actually more points than just taking X four times. Yeah. But in any case, if they do take eggs, it does secure them to end of round goal just because they have so many tween nests. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting because, like, and this is a, again the thing with the wood duck, right? Is like, they they can't even get the swallow down now and then tuck anything through it. So, <laughs> I was thinking maybe they could actually they can't even play it with the woodpecker because they have already four birds. Yep. I don't know. I feel like this was a wasted turn. Yep. A what bit. are they going to do now? Are they going to do it again? <laughs> See, it would have been better for them if they if they weren't oh, okay. going to if they weren't going to do anything. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I, I'm just saying. It looks like I took one card just so they can tuck it. But the thing is, in that case, it would have been better to get more cards from the water action than just taking food. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. You should have just done that. Uh, the other option is just 
was just getting eggs and just ignoring that and just um, getting three for the first one using and activating the free slug and then discarding that each time to get the extra egg um, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that going up there for the one point in the, the forest was worthwhile definitely not um, Omniva for four points is pretty good yeah I'm trying to think. I think taking cards and then taking X three times would have been the path that leads to the most points. I, I, I th I'm tending to lean to agree with you. And, and discarding one egg to get the fourth yeah. card. Yeah. The third card, sorry. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but it's maybe they, they think they're a bit behind. They were trying to gamble on getting a good card. It's possible. Yeah, but they could gamble on getting the good card down below, and then if they do, they can use the raven to get the food for it. You didn't have to go up the top to do that. That's oh, true. That's, true. So. that's very true. Yeah, so like I said, this, this turn feels oh, slightly look at that. wasted. That was the oolologist they just called. For oolologist, yeah. yeah. I mean, a bit of luck on the bonus cards, finally, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, after drawing a zero one and only having two points in the other one, but it is it is nice. You're going to pull eventually with the amount of birds had. There was a couple of other ones that were, you know, were, were good for them as well. Eight points for three cards isn't exactly stellar. No. Um, how much does DJ have? Four. He has full viticulture, so seven, thirteen, maybe two on the breeding manager. Yeah. Fifteen bonus points. That's almost twice as much as Sim has. Yeah, so last game Sim had zero bonus points and um, DJ scored like 21 bonus points and Sim still won by over 10 points. Yeah, Sim broke 100. Okay. Sim broke 100. Um, very nice game. Very nice game. Um, let mm -hmm. me bring these two back in and that is, that is it. There is DJs are seeing the, the final results now. There we go. All right. Um, congratulations, you two. Um, well done, Sim, winning both games. Yeah, well done.